Welcome to the game of... Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Oh boy. Welcome to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. I know two things about Battlestar Galactica. It's a TV show, and that it's sci-fi. That's literally it. So let's jump right into this, I think. Oh. Uh, um. Uh-huh. I think I need a tutorial on this one. The Cylons have turned on humanity. Although there is no clear command structure, some colonies have been rumored to be in negotiation with Cylon forces. Okay. Alright. I think I'll be using, uh, keep the mouse controls for the camera. W A S D. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, another one of these. Oh, I see, I see. Yes, Commander. So... This is kind of loud to me. This is already looking a bit like StarCraft. Okay, right click on a unit or select it and press space. Fire arc soldier permanent. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. It's neat that you can see their stats. Like that. Also, it becomes identified when. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can fire yes, guided Commander. missiles with you. I guess I can do that. Or not. Oh, I can. Missiles incoming. You're about to get uh, screwed up. Right click on you and press. Oh, yep, I can do that. Okay. That looks like Tech Bay needs a little bit of help there. Oh. Select the damage Tech Bay. Oh, oh. Okay. I cannot fire at you. Okay. You're already targeting, so... I'm guessing I'm fine. Subsystem repairs are complete. They just collided.
I think I might. So, uh, this is kind of wonky for for me. Okay. I think it the the Diadella Shipyards is important to the story. Let me intern, please. I'm being fired at. Yes, Commander. I think I might be fine. Yes, Commander. That's a big old might. This is only tutorial, I know. Don't. Is this what this game's effectively going to be like? Let's see, what needs... Nothing re needs repairing? Okay. Alright. Uh... Let's just keep going this way. I'll be honest, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I think I need an extra turn before I can fire more missiles. Can't get the map right now. I'm about to take another hit. Fire at you. Yeah, this is just the tutorial. Uh, I don't know whether or not I want it to pick up or no. Okay. I can actually go fast. A little faster. I'll be honest, I don't know if I can end this tutorial earlier now. I feel about getting me to uh, take a bit of time before I can end my turn. And they're dead. Cool. I'm just gonna proceed. The articles of colonization are an attempt to something. Yeah, it did bring this down. That's just purely for me. I apologize if it, uh, uh, messes with you, with you on your end. Alright, well, I'm just gonna jump into this because I don't think I'm gonna be playing this, uh, for too horribly long. 
But we'll see how this turns out. So, the base campaign, the Oracles of Colonization have been signed, and Colonial Fleet is tasked with defending the 12 colonies against the rising Cylon threats. Okay. Oh, this is not that neat. Uh... Yeah, I ain't doing any of these. I'm gonna stick with Lieutenants. Uh... Persistent damage? Ha <laughs> ha No. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Let's make this uh, a little easier on myself. It's like I said, I know nothing about this series at all. And I need to keep the tutorial on for myself. After so? Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the Twelve Colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. But did they work? The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. That's a uh, no. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to PyCon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Which is... What exactly? Pycon's capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of colonial fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Well, the Colonial Fleet is screwed. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on PyCon. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. Gentlemen, it was nice working for you. But you are screwed with me in command. Ha 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 ha. This is a complete note of things I should have read instead of Making cruel dates. Pycon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Thank you. So, I can't move this map around. Well, I can. Can't zoom in or out. Like, oh, I can. Rotate it. That's neat. So... Can I do anything here? I don't think I can, but... I can highlight that, but that's about it. Colonial propulsion systems use refined Tilium fuel. Due to the accessibility of both Tilium ore and its refinement processes, Tilium is commonly traded as a commodity between the colonies. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. I already did this! Proceed when you're confident with your commands.
I literally just did this. This is the tutorial. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Yes, Commander. Oh, right. It's the middle mouse button to uh, physically move the map like this. Let's keep you uh, down low so I don't have another uh, mid space collision. I can't fire guided missiles yet! All I can do is fire the turrets! Well... I'm hitting him. So that counts as something, I guess. Sir, we've got a new Dratus contact. Acknowledged. Dratus IFF confirms the contact is a silent corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. These Cylon corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions. Useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Hmm. You're almost dead. I'll fire mine at you. Understood. Yes, sir. I'll fire your guided missiles at this thing. Let's see how this turns out. Missiles incoming! You're... yeah, you hit. Your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hotfix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. You don't sound exact, uh, thrilled about that. Hey, at least I'm doing my best to keep these guys alive this time. Uh, let's bring you around this way. I can start seriously turning. The yeah, other are going to be going against that thing. I think I can have you up a little closer to the level now. All hostile contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Congratulations, commander. But we still have work to do. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir.
Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contact sparing 017, Karam 021. PyCon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Understood. Yes, Commander. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. I know Adjust that. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. stations. Okay. So do I need to, uh, do something about these unidentified contacts? Let's go take a look. Understood. Yes, sir. Let's say go for a little bit of a de defense as well. And... Uh oh. I get the feeling I should probably keep you alive as well. Brace for so. impact! Do it that Hostile way. unit identified. Ah, oh, the Talon. And you're a nemesis. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Okay. So... Sure, yes, let's sir. All... Sure, let's just launch all the squadrons. Um... Yes, sir. You do that. I uh, can't do it. Can I fire guided missiles? I yes, think Commander. that's... Okay, that's definitely a yes. On it, Commander. I'll keep your guided mi missiles with you for the time being. Yep, you're a bogey, or a bandit. 
or whatever the space term is. Missiles incoming! Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Okay, so how do I move them again? Yes, sir. Squadron target is confirmed. Okay, I think I have to do it this way. I think. I'll fire your guided missiles at you. Alright, your guided missiles are gonna fire at this thing. Missiles on their way. So have you climb up there. So say we all. That'll that'll do. Squadron is taking fire. I'm not sure what you're aiming at, man. Yeah, you do that. Yes, Commander. I think you're still firing at. Yeah. You're still firing at that thing. Yeah, I think that that's it. I'm still not sure where you're firing at, but okay. A battle star is being hacked. What does that mean? Fire control. System repairs underway. Keep at that. Yeah, wait another turn for you. Come on, select it. Can I not do anything with you? Whatever. That should, that should work out. I think the town's about to fall. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battle stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Okay, so... Uh, I'm told... I'm being told it's offline. Alright, um... I think I need to... I need to repair. Armory and the hangar, apparently. Uh, I think I need to attack you as I look at it. Alright, uh, need to wait one more turn with you. Because, although now I think about that, it, that would explain why I couldn't, uh, uh, assign anything to this particular thing. 
It's not one of mine. Oh. Under repairs. Silly me. Alright, you know what? I'm going to assign you to fight that. Squadron target is confirmed. You I'm going to assign the fight that you got your target. So say we all. Uh your turns uh, can't even attack that. So Well not yet. I can fire guided missiles at not that thing apparently. Let's just let's just do it that way. Sir. Icon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. Okay. McKinley was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we all. So say we all. Now! In my attempts to undork myself here. Fire that. I'm gonna chase after you. Still under repairs. Awesome. Keep you fighting that. Still under repairs. You know what? Screw that. I'll repair something else. Oh. Fine. Repair the armory. Okay. So who's so who's attacking the Daedalus then?
Yes, Commander. Manticore is taking damage. Radius is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. So, that's Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Yeah, not my kind of game. My computer screen is not that small, really, but I was having a difficult time seeing what was going on, let alone uh, clicking anything. And I have no idea how long I was muted throughout that recording. And honestly, I don't want to go back and re record that. Neat game, otherwise. If it were uh, slightly different in terms of the uh, RTS gameplay, I'd probably uh, uh, give it a, another chance. Honestly, I don't think I will. Then again, as I said multiple times, I know very little about Battlestar Galactica, so I can't say in the game. Uh, based on the namesake alone. But, again, I don't hate the game, it's just not for me. So? Oh. <laughs> ah, well. Blank screen! Yeah, I'm just gonna call it as you can see. For everyone watching, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. My name is Brungazix, and I thank you for your time.